Red symbolizes blood, sin, joy, happiness, and life. Mm-hmm. So, Michael, if mm-hmm. if something s- symbolizes two polar opposite concepts, mm-hmm. then how does it symbolize anything? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, if we get I, to pick and choose, because, like, you might pick up a red Bible and say, this symbolizes the blood. And uh-huh. I might pick up a red Bible and say, this symbolizes the the sin or uh-huh. happiness or life, right? Uh-huh. Well, I guess Judaism wouldn't use a Bible, but you get my point. Yeah. It would use the Old Testament. It would use the Old Testament. Yeah. yeah. No, I do get your point. Well, I, I'm going to have to answer this question sort of and split it off into two things. One, you say if something represents completely opposite concepts, does it really represent anything? Well, that's that's a legitimate question. And I think we can engage in an exploration of whether it really does symbolize anything if, if the concepts are diametrically opposed. But so let, let's put a pin in that for a second. I would then come back to the question of before we can answer that, we need to establish whether those concepts are actually opposite or not, or is it just the cultural overlay that we're putting on it that says, oh, those things are opposite. Maybe in from the cultural context that we're looking at, those things aren't necessarily opposite. I mean, let's, let's okay. even look at okay. blood, right? Sure. Because blood can symbolize war, right? Because people bleed in a war, but blood can also symbolize life because you can't live without blood. And so they're opposite, but they are intimately connected by, you know, that that's the thread that connects them. Yeah. Life, either the presence of life or the loss of life. I mean, that gets into the question then if we're talking about localizing something, we use a color that can represent this one thing or can represent, I won't say the opposite, but we'll say the other side of that thing. What's it going to mean to the people seeing it? Which which of the so, possible interpretations will they pick? That's a good point. 